Hello, another website that you will hopefully find yourself using frequently is your office email. Um, the office email is through Microsoft and you can exchange emails with your teachers and your club advisors. And you might need to check emails from textbook companies or websites that your teacher has had you sign up for. Uh, so those are some typical things we might utilize our email for. Some things that we should not use our email for would be to sign up for specific promotions from websites or use it for any purchasing. A lot of websites are blocked from sending you emails, so even if you give them your email address. So for instance, even some colleges might not be able to email you at your Fairfield City Schools email address. So you will want to keep that in mind as you begin utilizing this email address. But let's get there. So as always, we started our Fairfield City Schools links page. That is fairfieldcityschools.net slash links. And you are going to go to the Office 365 portal. Again, this is an alphabetical order. So we're going to go for our O's and then I'm going to locate the Office 365 portal. You will notice that the um, login was bypassed for that, and that is because we are utilizing those Google Chrome profiles. So we started off setting up our Google Chrome profile, and that will enable us to log in automatically to Microsoft and to Google because they are kind of combined. To get to your email, you're going to go over to the left side panel and you are going to look for Outlook. So we are going to select Outlook. And now you will see any emails that you have received. Again, if we would like to bookmark this site, we could go to the star icon. So I'm going to notice outlook.office.com slash mail across the top. I'm going to find my star icon and I am going to select the star there. This is going to then save my mail to my toolbar at the top so that I can easily access my email. If you want to write a message, you'll simply type in new message. And a nice thing about our email is that you already have a built-in directory. So I might start typing in a teacher's last name and their email address will pop up right here. Then I could type in my subject. Um, I'm going to say missing assignment. And I might type my nice message. Hello, I am so sorry, but I forgot to turn in my homework. Could I turn it in tomorrow? Make sure you sign your name and maybe let your teacher know what period you're in. And then you'll hit the send button and then you can look for any responses here. So this is how you can access your email address, bookmark the email website, and send an email. Thank you.